Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and well, I'm pretty excited today because I get to look at a professional level piece of equipment. And don't worry, there are no restrictions if you want to buy one of these, apart from, of course, these kind of tools are very, very expensive uh, hundreds of euros, pounds, dollars, whatever your currency of choice is. So, yeah, these professional level tools are they're not cheap, but they're not cheap for a reason. They are made supremely well designed for everyday use by professionals who would need maybe to have a specific pick for a specific lock they come across uh, very commonly and why would a professional spend hundreds of dollars on a on a single tool well apart from the fact that it has that high build quality and the associated guarantees of course um, what you get is you get a tool that you can just use out of the pack. You know it works on a specific lock and you don't have to worry about, you know, whether you've got the right access, the right tension, the right um, uh, dimple flag, um, or even sometimes, dare I say, uh, the, the skills, if you haven't uh, practiced picking a specific lock, they just take a lot of the guesswork out of it. It's still not a magic key. There is still a, a little bit of um, practice that you need to, to do to, to sort of dial in the feel when you use one of these picks, but certainly uh, it it does take away a lot of the guesswork for sure. Now, this is a turbo pick and it's made by, if I show you here, madelinesa.com. And I've checked out their website and there's one of these for so many different brands. Um, uh, just a handful here, Abus, Kale, Aseo, Multilock, Titan, Bichette, Escura, Sisa, Tessa, Yale, um, and probably many more as well. Uh, so, you know, you can go over to the website, but this one was actually lent to me very kindly by Vent, and they're selling it on their zeofix.com website as well. So, as ever with these things, do some shopping around, uh, but a, a big thank you to Vent for lending me a tool which Otherwise, there's no way I could uh, afford or maybe even justify spending that money on being a hobby picker. So let's just have a look at this tool. I mean, the finish on it is a lovely matte black. And instead of um, knurling, which can look pretty cool, I'd say that this looks even cooler. It's, it's almost like a dimpled effect here on the collar. Um, very beautifully machined. A, a very nice sort of satin finishes. Uh, I mean, it's hard to describe, but when you hold this, it oozes quality. And I know that there are a few knockoffs of these around. Um, and I find it very hard to believe that they are anywhere near the build quality of this. Looking at the tip, uh, I don't know how this was cut. Looking at the the slight mottling on here, I'm surprised if it isn't some kind of like wire loss cutting involved on this but it's very very cool and what's nice about these picks in general whoever makes them um, is that the tips themselves are very very specific to the curve of the warding in the lock and this one is for the superbly common ISO R6 one of my favorite dimple locks to pick very very common lock not massively easy but um, very very enjoyable full of spools lovely 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 lock um, so I borrowed this particular one because, of course, I have, have an ISAO R6, um, so I can do a little demo of it. But yeah, just looking at this, everything about it is absolutely lovely. I mean, uh, you get obviously a case with it as well, it comes with um, a change tool, your hex key there, so you can uh, um, loosen off any of the little grub screws that are on the tool. It comes with... Um, spare grub screw and tip in here just in case you get a bit heavy-handed but you know everything about it oozes quality um, so whilst definitely expensive and aimed at professionals uh, there's no part of this where I can see corners cut I think you can see what kind of tool this is but let's actually see it in action so we are in the vise here is the key magnificent isn't it with its very low pin 2 and a very very high pin 3 but of course it works beautifully when used. Compare the blade of the tool to the key you'll see there's a perfect match and of course it has to be so that it can navigate the warding inside the lock. Also you know you can move this back and forth that's the dimple flag 
and you can put it in a neutral position just there so you can insert the tool very gently in. Now you'll want to, if you're going to pick it this way, so uh, anti-clockwise, you'll want to put it in this neutral position here with this line hit there and then you'll try to find on pin one anything binding. I think it's a little click so we'll go into pin two. There you go. Little click, nothing on three. Uh, wiggle onto four. Little click. Uh, five's binding now. Into a full set. Six. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Back through to. Um, so a bit of full set and then back through. I've got to wiggle onto uh, pin one. We're in a bit of a full set still, so I've got to just wiggle on top of it. There we go, like this. And set that. Check two's fine. Three's binding. Keep going. I think that's set. We dropped somebody, I think five. There we go, and we have an open. Look at that. So, um, just, yeah, the, the feedback on this is really excellent. I have full control of this uh, keyway. It's, it's just really nice. And of course, um, there's no pins inside, so you can take this out. If you need to use a plug spinner at this point, then you can use a plug spinner to, to turn it. You, the, your tool isn't trapped inside the lock. And you see that um, we have a you know, full open on this. So what do I think of a tool like this? You know, when you're spending hundreds of pounds on a tool, you expect it to be of high quality, high build quality and very usable. And I have to say, it's absolutely both of those things. You know, if you were a professional, the price of this is not anywhere outside of the range of prices that you would spend on individual picking tools. If you're a lock sporter, um, then it's hard to, hard to recommend buying this as a lock sporter unless you were absolutely fascinated by such tools and you wanted one for your collection. I mean, they are incredibly lovely to look at and quite desirable. But again, you know, for a lock sporter, you might want to look at a decent set of dimple flags. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. If you like this video, please leave a like. I do read all the comments, by the way, and I reply to as many as I can. And if you like content like this, uh, I want to see more like it, then please, of course, subscribe. It helps my channel no end, and I really, really appreciate it. So, yeah, thank you again to Vent for lending me this professional-level tool. You know, it's really nice to explore these things, even though um, they're maybe a little bit out of the hobbyist price range. Uh, certainly, there's a lots of people on this channel watching who are professionals who um, may look at this and go, oh yeah, I definitely would like one of those for one of these dimple locks I see all the time. Anyway, I'll catch you all next time.